Coming to you from Orange County, California, this is the Jug Life Podcast with Max Ada and Chad Wesley Smith. How is that authority has hijacked leadership, right? I mean, we, we've, they're the same thing, right? Are the people with all the authority, well, they're our leaders, right? So this, the coach is the leader. The, the star player is the leader. Um, the businessman in the corner office with the best title, he's the leader. And I, I, I think if you unpack that, you say, well, what's everyone else then? Followers. Ooh, well, that don't sound that good to me, right? And, and that's the old minority leads the majority thing. So I just think it takes, it, it requires more treatment than that. Like, so here's what I'm not saying. Like, I believe in chain of command. I believe in it. I think if we lose chain of command, we don't have a prayer. I mean, we, you know, we have to have the ability to point all of our noses in the same direction at a key point and then go execute, right? So chain of command is important, but there's no reason for chain of command um, to hijack leadership. They're two different things. Authority is authority, right? That's a grave responsibility. And it should just stay there. Now, we want the star player. We want the coach. we We want the executives in business. We want them to be good leaders. But we want other people to be good leaders as well, right? That's my view is I don't, I, I don't, I don't subscribe to within the, the, the confines of leadership. I don't, I don't subscribe to the majority. The, the minority leads the majority. So we've changed the definition. I mean, to us, leadership by way of definition is the ability to make those around you better and more productive. Full stop. That's it. You don't have to be the boss to do that. Right? You can be the newest member of the organization. If, if you can make people around you better and more productive, if you have that ability, and again, you're not born with it. This is a skill. You acquire this over time with work. Then, you know, it's going to be powerful. And the more people that are trying to make the people around them better and more productive, that doesn't mean they get to make all the decisions. It just means that leadership is different than authority. And, and that when we treat it that way, when we, we, when we actually... Um, subscribe to this notion that we expect everyone to lead, interestingly, you can require it. Now, think about an organization where you have a lot of people contributing to the middle because they feel it's their, it's their responsibility to do so. I have a responsibility here to make those around me better and more productive. Sometimes that's just don't be a distraction, right? This is about how big your toolbox is at the end of the day. This is where, you know, if all you can do is if you only got a hammer in there and you can just yell at people, well, there's going to be a time when you're right, but you know maybe you keep quiet the other times. But the people that have these expansive toolboxes that really can, you know, they they have the ability to when when somebody's had a bad day to to to, to authentically put their hand on their shoulder and say it's going to get better. <laughs> it, we've all been where you are right now. Come on, man, just just come with us. It's going to be good, right? That's great. And, and that same guy to have the ability to be able to look a teammate in the eye that you care about and say, your best can be better. You can be a better player for us, right? And, and, and to be able to do both of those things, to, to, to get out in front when, when it's hard to be in front, when it's difficult there. And then when it's easy to be in front, maybe to push others there in front, right? So I, I just think that leadership is one of those things that's been hijacked, and I want to unhijack it. <laughs> I want to. I want to say that we believe in authority. We need bosses. You know, we need people in authority to make these decisions and to not do what we're really asking. Uh, they're asking at any one point in time. That's mutiny. It's not okay, right? But they don't have to take leadership with them. We can say leadership is something that our that the newest person to our organization has, all the way to our star players. This is from the episode with Jack Clark, the Cal head rugby coach. One of our favorite episodes that we've done. He just had a ton of great insight into leadership and building team culture. This week's episodes of The Jug Life were brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Visit dollarshaveclub.com slash jug life to check out uh, all the great stuff they offer. A lot more than just razors and support the show. Uh, Click on the link in the video info to listen to the full episode with Jack Clark. And if you're interested in online coaching, visit juggernautcoaching.com for more info. 
Make sure to subscribe to The Jug Life and uh, drop us a five-star review if you enjoy it. Thank you.